In today's video, I will show you how I made and attached belt loops to the Tatiana trousers by Just Patterns. This is not the only way to make and attach belt loops, but if you want to have securely attached belt loops without any kind of top stitching showing, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Matilda and welcome back to Miss Matty, the channel where I share all about sewing, knitting, mending and generally how to live an awesome and sustainable life. If that sounds like something for you, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will not miss any upcoming videos from me. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make and securely attach belt loops without any kind of top stitching showing. The trousers which I will sew the belt loops on are the Tatiana trousers by Just Patterns. Throughout the process of me making these trousers I also made videos on how to sew the perfect darts, how to sew a single weld pocket, as well as how to sew a front fly zipper to a pair of trousers. And if you're interested checking these videos out, then I will link them in the description box down below. But now, without further ado, let's get into making belt loops. To make these belt loops, I will need to cut a new piece of fabric and not use the piece I initially cut out to make belt loops with. This is because I need a wider piece to make my belt loops when using my method compared to the method described in the instructions of the Tatiana trousers. I did cut my piece 50cm long and 3cm wide. And then I did cut my fusible interfacing in the same measurements and fused both pieces together. Now on one of the long sides only, overlock one edge. Then divide and mark the piece into equally wide sections lengthwise. In this case the sections will be 1cm wide. Fold the long raw edge inward, pin in place and then press to create a crisp edge. Remove the pins, press again, fold the overlocked edge inward and pin if needed. And then press again to create a crisp edge on this side as well. Then thread a needle and tie a knot at the end. And then in between the two top layers and the folded edges, pull the needle through and hide the knot. Then whip stitch the overlocked edge in place, making sure not to catch the top layer. Insert the needle at the right at an angle and draw the needle through the layer with the overlocked edge. Then insert the needle into the layer underneath a bit further down from the first stitch. And then bring it up again at an angle through the layer with the overlocked edge. Continue working created slanted stitches until the overlocked edge is attached to the middle layer of the fabric. Whilst doing this, make sure that you do not stitch through the layer of the fabric that will be visible when you're wearing your garment, as we do not want to have any stitches showing. It is up to you how long or short you want your stitches to be, as well as how close you want them stitched to one another. Now it's time to mark where you will cut your belt loops. I wanted 5 belt loops for my trousers, so I divided the strip into 5 equal long sections. Then using pinking shears, I cut my belt loops to the correct length. As my fabric frays a lot, I decided to use fray shake at the edges of my belt loops. And now it's time to attach the belt loops. Mark where you want your belt loops and pin the belt loops to the waist before attaching the waistband. This helps to make them more securely attached. Then I base stitched the belt loops in place and went on making my waistband. I made a curved waistband to ensure that the trousers fit me better. And if you want me to make a tutorial on how to make a curved waistband, let me know in the comments down below. Then stitch your waistband to the trousers, 
with the right sides facing and a 1cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. And then press the waistband up and away from the trousers. And then continue to construct your waistband. When you are ready to attach the underside of your waistband to the trousers, stitch in the ditch around the waistband. And then pin your belt loops 1cm down from the waistband. Stitch back and forth to attach your belt loops. And then pull the belt loops upwards and pin in place. Backstitch the belt loops by hand at the top of the waistband. Sadly I lost this footage so I cannot show you how I did it. Make sure to not stitch through the top layer once again to avoid any visible stitching. And now the belt loops should be attached. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you will now be able to make and attach belt loops to trousers or any other garments successfully. And if you did, do not forget to tag me on Instagram at Miss Matty. I would love to see how the belt loops turned out. And this is how the Tatiana trousers turned out. mentioned earlier throughout the process of making these trousers I also made video tutorials on how to sew the perfect darts, how to sew single world pockets as well as how to sew a front fly zipper to a pair of trousers and if you're interested in checking those videos out I will link to them all in the description box down below and also if you like this video you might also like these videos over here as well and until next time Bye!